A bill proposed by the Alabama State House would punish women who decide to have an abortion. Uh, House Bill 454 would allow for the state to prosecute women for murder and assault for having an abortion. And News 19's Carmen Fuentes joins us in studio with more on this bill. Yeah, Steve, Lauren, Representative Ernie Yarbrough from the Lawrence County area, he is sponsoring this legislation as well as four co-sponsors who are also representatives. That includes Representative Richie Wharton who represents Madison County. The bill aims to override the state's current provision which prohibits women from being prosecuted for homicide or assault after having an abortion. Under Alabama's current law, the Human Life Protection Act, it's illegal for any person to intentionally perform or attempt to to perform an abortion unless an abortion is necessary in order to prevent a serious health risk to the unborn child's mother. The proposed bill could lead to prosecutions for anyone who terminates a pregnancy after fertilization, but it does retain protection for victims of domestic violence or assault. The proposed bill also appears to target the use of medication, saying that it would expand the definition of a person for criminal code purposes to include an unborn child from the moment of fertilization. The legislation also says that preborn children have the right to life and equal protection under the law. There is also no distinction for homicide if the victim is unborn. The bill's text states, quote, this bill would also provide that prosecutions of homicide or assault where the victim is an unborn child shall be treated the same as prosecutions of homicide or assault of a person born alive, end quote. That's according to the bill's summary. The bill has been referred to the House Judiciary Committee where it will undergo a committee discussion to determine whether or not it heads back to the House floor for a vote.